Good morning everyone! Another little game for you. Today the boys are playing with Numicon and often we think Numicon's for some of the younger children but actually it's really good for the older ones too. So the boys have both got a um, string which comes with some of the Numicon sets um, and or a lace and they've got a knot tied at one end and what they need to do is I'm going to give them a number and just like our, yes our game yesterday with dominoes, today they've got to try and make the number that I give them with as many pieces as possible. So, for example, if I said to them make the number nine, they could just do five, add four, but that would only give them two points. If they wanted to, they could do three, add three, add three, makes nine, and that would give them three points. If they wanted to, they could get nine ones, and that would give them nine points. So the idea is they've got to try and do it with as many points as possible by getting as many plates as possible. So they're totaling up in their head, so a lot of mental calculation. So it's a nice one for number bonds to any number, and it's nice to show that we can partition a number in many, many ways, okay? There's lots of ways of looking at each number. So it's really good for making those connections and relationships. It's open-ended, so lots and lots of chance to persevere and be resilient and also quite clever to get more and more points. Right, boys, are you ready? Can you find the number six? Okay, so they've heard what I've said, and they've both gone with all the ones, and that's a nice, easy one to do. So they thread them on, thread them onto your string. So they've got a little bit of fine motor skills to having a go at threading them on. Sometimes they fall off, so I've just tried them to keep them on the table today. Okay, can you find? We're going to do a bigger number this time. So this is for some of the older children. Is looking at numbers and how they work together to make numbers like the number thirteen. Sam's grabbing all the ones. <laughs> oh, he's being clever. Oh, don't worry, there's lots of twos left, Matthew. Ten what seconds left. Thirteen. I can't, I can't think of how to... Don't worry, look at what you've got so far. Just check you've got thirteen. So like all of the games, there's often lots of layers. So they've got to know the plates and know what the plates reckon, um, symbolise. They've got to do some mental calculation. Um, and potentially when they get to a certain number, they've then got to find what they've got left to make up to that total. Okay? So lots and lots of skills involved. And at the end, once we've played and all the plates are gone, we will have a go at counting how many little plates they've got on their string. And the winner is the one with the most plates. All right? So another one to try. And as I said, Numicon is not just for little one so it is a good investment if you are thinking about it it will last you quite a long time okay so we've also got our numicon in the water for this one so they might get a little bit wet are you ready boys come on over let's have a go and see if you can quickly find the numbers by fishing them out you might get a bit wet are you ready can you find do i go in you don't go in you have to reach in for now ready can you find you got to get down and reach in can you find the number Six. <laughs> six. <laughs> well done. What have you got, Matthew? Yes. <laughs> Very good. What have you got, Matthew? Six ones. Okay, Sam, you got six. Excellent. Right, put them on the side, Sam. Eleven. Always has to take it one step further, does Matthew? He's got it. Eleven. Yeah, remember, we're looking for... Clever Sam, clever. I'm trapped. There's no other way. Ah, put this for this. Here we go. Can you make 11, Matthew? I think so. Right. 